Mr. and Mrs. Spicky Sparrow by Edward Lear On a little piece of wood Mr. Spicky Sparrow stood. Mrs. Sparrow sat close by. A making of an insect pie for her little children five in the nest and all alive singing with a cheerful smile to amuse them all the while mrs spicky sparrow said spicky darling in my head many thoughts of trouble come like to flies upon a plum all last night among the trees i heard you cough i heard you sneeze and thought I, it's come to that, because he does not wear a hat. Not that you were growing old, but the nights are growing cold. No one stays out all night long without a hat. I'm sure it's wrong. Mr. Spicky said, how kind, dear, you are to speak your mind. All your life I wish you luck. You are, you are, a lovely duck. I was also sad and thinking, when one day I saw you winking, and I heard you sniffle, snuffle, and I saw your feathers ruffle. To myself I sadly said, she's neuralgia in her head, that dear head has nothing on it, ought she not to wear a bonnet? Let us both fly up to town, there I'll buy you such a gown, which, completely in the fashion, you shall tie a sky-blue sash on, and a pair of slippers neat to fit your darling little feet, so that you will look and feel quite glubious and genteel. So they both to London went, alighting on the monument, whence they flew down swiftly pop into Moses' wholesale shop. There they bought a hat and bonnet, and a gown with spots upon it, a satin sash of clocks and blue, and a pair of slippers too. Then, when so completely dressed, back they flew and reached their nest. Their children cried, Oh, Ma and Pa, how truly beautiful you are! Said they, We trust that cold or pain we shall never feel again. While perched on tree or house or steeple, we shall look like other people. <laughs> 